Hi, in this video we will talk about gamification options in iSpring Learn. To motivate employees, iSpring offers the use of game methods and online training. For successful completion of courses and tests, employees receive badges and points and compete for leadership in the ratings. In their learning portal, each learner can go to the section with achievements, find out how many points he received, what badges he has, and his place in the rating. Now let's see how to set it all up. First, go to Settings, and then Additional Options. Now select Gamification. This box has to be checked in order for gamification to work. In this section, you can manage points, and in the next, badges. You can add a new badge here. Now you can specify its name and choose a picture. Although, let's get creative and add our own image. Then you can choose when your employee will receive this badge, for past courses or earned points. I'll select the course and save the new badge. Let's go back to the points. Here you can specify how many points the employee will receive for theoretical or graded material as well as course completion. Your users will get ratings based on the points they earn. You can also choose how many points an employee will receive for certain things. For example, for a complex course, you can give more points. Let me show you how. When I open the course from the course list and then head to the general tab at the very bottom of the first page, I can change the points option for that course. Or if you do not want to award points at all for this course, then remove the check mark here. But I want to use gamification for this course, so I'm going to keep it turned on. And of course, as always, we save our changes. When you're all set up, be sure to test how gamification works. To do this, simply assign the course to yourself. Do that here in the list of courses. And after making enrollment, go to User Portal. Complete Course. I received 100 points and a badge for completing this course. Great! Administrators can view ratings in the Reports section. They can be created by groups or departments. And to learn about a specific user's achievement, you can simply go to their profile. You can also adjust a user's points manually. Just select Points, head to Managing Points, and you can award or remove points. When you award points, you will be able to select the date and time the change will come into effect, how many points you want to reward, and the reason you're rewarding them. You get the same options when you remove points. That's all for today. You can try to implement the game project in your company with iSpring. See you for the next video.